the moment that'll last forever for Paul John. And today's match referee in his second Welsh Cup final. And guess what? He was in charge in 93 when Fenechi won the double against Neath. That's Gareth Simmons. Yeah, one interesting aspect today is going to be the midfield battle, Gareth. Both, uh, both sets of, uh, of centres are in great form at the moment. Bryant and Park have a point of breathing. Cardi and Lee Davis. So that is going to be a, a key area of the game. Two captains have their teams ready. The first ever Welsh Cup final indoors with the roof closed. And it's Pontypridd who get off to a good start with the unexpected kickoff. The feed back inside to Duncan Bell who charges towards the Fenechi 22. They had a storming start in this semi against Cardiff, did Ponty. They're looking to reproduce that on the big day itself. Brett Davy, the high up and under. Trying to test the Tenechi defence, it's out towards Celesi Finau. Cobain thought better of it. Kelly put in the tackle, but it's safe ball for Tenechi. And Guy Stabi just pumps it downfield. The slip from Brett Davy, then the recovery. Kerry Sweeney is still down injured for Pontypridd at the moment. Play on the far side, and if they could only have caught that one, they may have been half a chance. But immediately, we see it's battle stations from the word off. Yeah, good start from Pontypridd. Celeste Pino did well there, just sort of uh, you know, kept his eye on the ball and gathered it well. This injury to Sweeney will be of concern to Lynn Howells there. And Stephen Jones down as well. Stephen Jones back up on his feet and certainly Fenechi won't want to lose. Such an influential character. Oh, there Sweeney comes in, it was accidental, that was, you can see, his knee just caught Stephen Jones's head. Stand up, stand up, stand up, well used to this occasion. 11 times they've won it, runners up four times as well. On the pre, just the one win. And only right, two defeats, right, so only a fourth appearance up, for them stand up, stand up, at the stand cup up, final stage. Stand up, stand up. Now listen, what we talk about in the dressing room, right? You're going to crouch, you're going to hold, and then you're in. Hold, engage. Dyer <laughs> Simmons, it's not happy, Keep it square. with a drive coming in from Gethin Jenkins. Pontypridd's loose head, not coming in square. Interestingly, it's Barry Davis who comes up, left foot, nursing them down that far touchline. The youngster from Camarden, who's won the place at fullback with Matt Cardi joining Lee Davis in midfield for Tenethi. Yeah. Used to be both in action, Simon with a line out ball, Guy with a pass, and I think we can expect a lot of that this afternoon. Celesi Finau with a short ball in the midfield. Guy is to be probing, then getting the offload to Martin Madden. It's on its way back on Tenechi's side. Quinnell straight back to David Hodges. Has only Mark Jones outside him. So straight running the tackle of Richard Parks. But it's safe ball again for Tenechi. Stephen Jones. Jones looks for the half gap. Finds Celesi Finau in close support as well. Again, good clearing out by the Scarlets. He's to be under pressure from Paul John. Gets the kick in. A little bit of indecision. Defensively, just for a second by Pontypridd, and they're finding it rather heavy weather to get that ball back. Madden with a pop up pass back inside to Cooper, but the ball did go slightly forward, and Pontypridd will have a scrum, but a bit hesitant in defence from Ponty on that occasion. Yeah, and it was Celesti Fino who was, wasn't it? Coming off his wing there, the big charge down the middle, you see a lot of that. The good thing about having him on the wing is you can use him down in midfield, and your centres there and are still in alignment. A ball just forward and Leonard Ponty off the hook. A great ball for Michael Owen to use. And he certainly made headway in breaking the game line that time. Paul John and Sweeney from inside his own 22. And Kelly Sweeney's game has really come on in the second part of this season. He's been under pressure from Nicky Little, but he's responded in the best possible manner. 
and that was a great touch finder. Yeah, I was going to say, Gareth, Nicky Little has probably brought Kerry Sweeney on. He's realised, you know, it's great to have somebody in training on the field with you. He was pushing you all the time, and that has lifted Kerry Sweeney, as you rightly say, to another level. That was a magnificent kick down the touchline. This is an aspect that's been very impressive for Tenethi all season. The line-out, that time taken by Vernon Cooper. He's been chosen ahead of Luke Ross for the big occasion. And Robin McBride with the drive on. Levin Davis offside, advantage being played at the moment. Good chasing by Simon Easterby. He was the one who got there first. John Davis with a pick-up, up to Ponty's 10-metre line. Now here's a chance for Tenethi to spread the ball. Lee Davis bringing in Matt Cardi at pace. Great tackle from Sonny Parker. He really lined him up because Cardi was shifting then, looking for the outside break. But a superbly timed tackle from Sonny Parker lets Paul John clear the defence as far as Tenethi's fullback, Paddy Davis. Cobain is the one who's called for that one. He claims it on his own 10 metre line. The Australian runs up towards halfway. In goes the Ponty Pack. Now then, they could have numbers out wide. There are a few Tenethi forwards out there. Kelly, Nuttall, Nuttall, the chip and chase. He's backing his own speed against Mark Jones. It's over the try line. Jones is back there. Good cover from the Welsh international wing. But a great open play there from both wingers. Watch this tackle from Sonny Parker here. He's got to go on the drift. He's got to get out to Cardi. Lovely tackle, and Cardi just couldn't get the ball away to the inside support. On the three, have stolen it, and it just squirted away from Sonny Parker. And Brent Cobain and Richard Parks. Up there, putting pressure on Fanetti's 22. Uh, exciting start, Gareth, both sides you looking to use the ball, and Nuttall, as you said, back in his pace. It was a good kick, it was deep and it stayed in field, and it made Mark Jones track it back all the way. Brent Cobain is down injured. So Cobain, as he slides in again, I think it was just in... Well, did he go down on his knee heavily? Looks in some pain. There's the big Australian in the second row, but he's back up. He'll be tending his allotment again before long by the look of him. Nathanetti with handling error every couple of minutes so far. It's just pressure from Pontypridd, and perhaps the nerves of the occasion as well. And there's Matthew Nuttall, I think he's only played a handful of games for the Pontypridd club and finds himself in a cup final. So. 18 years, 316 days, one of the youngest cup finalists ever, but we've seen him at club level and he's full of confidence. Yeah, that's a great achievement for the lad, he's playing, playing very well for him. John Davis being picked out this time by Gareth Simmons. Let's see what the ref's got to say. Okay, you're tucked in and underneath. Like we said before, get your binding right, then the penalties might come your way, okay? Right, binding. All about binding, says Gareth Simmons. John Davis obviously not agreeing. It was good negotiating from John Davis, but I didn't think he was going to change his mind there. First chance then for points of the afternoon. Go to Pontypridd. Brett Davy. We've seen him have great afternoons. We've seen him have disappointing ones throughout the season. His 26 points against Cardiff in the semi were absolutely vital. Now has a chance to put Pontypridd ahead in the opening 10 minutes of the cup final. Simple, straight down the middle, 
It's the Pontypridd fans who have the first chance to cheer. Yeah, confidence start from Davy there. It's the sort of kick you want to open up with. And this is the offence, and John Davies claiming that Gethin Jenkins was taking him down. And Gareth Simmons saying it is the binding that was slipped. But the referee was on the other side of the scrum, yeah. Gareth, so it's, uh, it always seems to be a bit of a, a gamble, doesn't it, when a referee picks on a front row like that? 